Right, so I'm joined by Funtso Ojo. So Funtso, how how's the start to life at Vale been? Uh, it's been okay, yeah. The, the group is a good group, so they really uh, took me in. And uh, I've been welcomed from the start and I'm enjoying it. How's the change of culture been coming from Scotland to England? Um, it's it's a football environment, so it's not that different. And how, how was today's game? It was a scrappy game, but we won the game. Three points on the board, top of the table, so we're all happy. Ah, cheers, Fonso. No worries. <laughs> right, so I'm joined by Will Forrester, coming from our rival Stoke. So, the, the, the main question, how does it, how's it feel to come to the better side of Stoke? <laughs> no, it's good. Um, I've enjoyed my time here and uh, can't wait to get going and see how well we do this season. How would you say the difference is for coming from playing occasionally for Stoke in, in the league to playing what looks like it'll be every single game for Vale? Yeah, that's the main reason of why I've come to play regular football because I think I need that at my age now at 21 so hopefully I can do that here and do my best for the team. I know you come off the bench today so how do you feel you played? Yeah, I thought I did all right. Obviously, it's hard coming on as a defender, but I thought uh, we defended well as a team and saw it through and got the win in the end. And it's a decent result, so any defender's happy with that. Exactly. Obviously, clean sheet would have been better, but yeah, we still got the three points. So. Cheers, Will. All the right, so I'm joined by Tommy McDermott now. So, Tommy, obviously, you've come through the academy. How does it feel going from playing against kids your age to some 30, maybe 30, 35 years old? Great question, young man. Um, to be fair, the levels are it's jumped up a lot, and I'm just proud that uh, the clubs give me a chance. You know, I'm a young lad. The gaffers give me a, a chance to go show all the fans what they're about, and fans have been nothing but brilliant. So thank you all for that. So in front of 8,000 fans as well, that must have got your adrenaline pumping at least that extra percent more. Oh yeah, just them times when you know the last run, the extra few yards, the hard yards, and all the fans are cheering your name. You know, gets you properly going. Do you like your new song as well? Did you hear it when you're coming off? Of course I did. I think the old Vale Park was was rocking and I yeah. appreciate everyone for that. Cheers Tommy. Thank you. Little. Right, I'm joined by Nathan Smith. Nathan, thoughts on the game lad? Um, yeah, great game to start the, the season with a win. A, a goal with um, not a, a usual finish for myself. Uh, but yeah, great game, good result and next one here we come. Do you need to hear it from that three mile slide? You could have covered the whole of Stoke with that knee slide. <laughs> I don't know what come over me, I've got a nosebleed. I've never knee slided, never scored a goal of me thought ever. Um, might go put a lottery ticket on for tonight. <laughs> I mean, I was surprised, to be fair, lad. You, you played you played really well. Not surprised that you played well, but the finish is really well. Yeah, like I say, I don't really know where it come from, especially Connor, a little trick driving in the box. I mean, you would never put money on that, but like I say, uh, happy to get a win and the uh, next one here we come. Who needs strikers and you've got Nathan Smith, eh? Cheers. Uh, and Connor, don't forget Connor. <laughs> Cheers, lad. Cheers, thank you.